Over the last six years, I've used a number of different tracheostomy tubes. Some have worked well, while others were disasters. Join me this week as I walk down memory lane and review each type of tracheostomy tube I have used. The very first tracheostomy tube I had was called a Shiley Legacy tracheostomy tube. At the time, these were the standard tracheostomy tubes used. The tracheostomy shaft was made from hard plastic. The slightest movement of the tracheostomy tube caused a lot of irritation to my airway. The cuff on the tracheostomy tube was very large and bulky. The entire time the tracheostomy tube was in place, it felt as though I had a balloon in my throat. When I deflated the tracheostomy tube cuff, the cuff did not completely deflate. It was difficult to speak around the cuff. I only wore the Shiley Legacy tracheostomy tube for about a month before it was replaced by a Bivona tracheostomy tube. The second tracheostomy tube I had was the Bivona tight to shaft tracheostomy tube. With the Shiley tracheostomy tube, I struggled to speak words. However, as soon as the Bivona was inserted, I could talk with ease. The cuff on the Bivona completely deflates. This makes speaking much easier. The Bivona is made from silicone. The silicone is very gentle on the skin and airway. I could touch and move the tracheostomy tube and it did not bother my airway. The major downfall with the Bivona is I am sensitive to silicone. The silicone caused my tracheostomy to become inflamed. It felt as though someone was pouring acid down my trachea. I developed a bad cough and shortness of breath. As much as I like the Bivona, I cannot use it because my tracheostomy site and airway become very red and irritated. The next tracheostomy tube I tried was the Bivona foam cuff. This is a tracheostomy tube with a cuff made from foam. My doctor thought this tracheostomy tube would help heal my very irritated trachea. What neither one of us knew is that the foam-filled cuff is meant for people who do not need to deflate the cuff on the tracheostomy tube. The tracheostomy tube was a nightmare. The foam was very hard to deflate and would automatically reinflate. For more details about this tracheostomy tube, please see the video, I can't deflate my cuff. Foam trig tube cuff fail. I tried my hardest to deflate the cuff on the tracheostomy tube. But in the end, my doctor took out the foam cuff tracheostomy tube about 24 hours after it was put in. The next tracheostomy tube I tried was the Traco Twist. This tracheostomy tube is made from polyurethane. I cannot give much of a review on this tracheostomy tube because the Traco tracheostomy tube which was ordered for me had a shaft which was too long. The tracheostomy tube dug into my airway. It made me cough and struggle to breathe. For one day I tried to overcome the tracheostomy tube, but I ended up having to pull it out. The one major downside with using the Traco tracheostomy tube is that in order to connect the tracheostomy tube to a ventilator, the inner cannula must be used. If you do not use an inner cannula, you cannot connect the tracheostomy tube to the ventilator tubing. In 2020, many medical supplies were out of stock. I was desperately in need of a tracheostomy tube. I searched online and found the Shiley Single Cannula Tracheostomy Tube. This tracheostomy tube cannot be used with an inner cannula. Since I do not use an inner cannula, this sounded like a great tracheostomy tube. I ordered one and hoped it would work. Unfortunately, the tube is made from hard plastic. With the slightest touch, the tracheostomy tube moved and dug into my trachea. The tracheostomy tube cuff seemed very bulky in my airway. The tracheostomy tube and the cuff irritated my airway and caused me to cough and cough and cough. Finally, after an hour, I had to take it out. I could not tolerate the tracheostomy tube. The tracheostomy tube, which has worked the best for me, is called the Shiley Flexible Tracheostomy Tube with Taper Guard Cuff. This tracheostomy tube is more flexible than the traditional Shiley tracheostomy tube, but it is not as flexible as the Bivona tracheostomy tube. This tracheostomy tube is made from a citrus-based plasticizer. This is a soft, flexible plastic. The tracheostomy tube cuff is tapered, which means it exerts less pressure on the trachea. When the cuff is deflated, it lies close to the shaft of the tracheostomy tube and interferes only a little bit with speaking. 
The biggest downfall with the tracheostomy tube is the cuff. The tapering of the cuff does not create a very good seal. If I move my head, the seal is frequently broken and air leaks out through my nose and mouth. Also, my insurance only pays for a new tracheostomy tube once every three months. The cough on this tracheostomy tube almost never lasts three months. It begins to fail after about a month. The cough will start to slowly leak air and deflate. By the end of the third month, the cough will only hold air for about 15 minutes. Despite the difficulties with the cough, the shyly flexible tracheostomy tube with taper guard cough has been the best tracheostomy tube for me. If I could build my own tracheostomy tube, I would take the shyly flexible tracheostomy tube with taper guard cuff and redo the cuff. I would not taper the cuff to allow the cuff to create a better seal against the tracheal wall. I would also make the cuff a little bit more durable. I'm not sure how to accomplish that, but if the cuff could last three months without leaking air, that would be ideal. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. As I was preparing to do this video, I had to research what the name of my first tracheostomy tube was. I thought it was just called a Shiley tracheostomy tube. I am not sure what it was called in 2016, but the company changed the name of the tracheostomy tube to the Legacy because it was the original Shiley tracheostomy tube. In the fall of 2021, the Shiley Legacy tracheostomy tube was discontinued. Guess what? I am finally done. This video has been requested for a very long time. People have wanted to know which tracheostomy tubes I have used. I have not filmed the video because it took a lot to remember all the different tracheostomy tubes. But now it is done. I am so excited and so happy. And my reward for finishing this video, it is time to take a nap. See you later. Bye-bye.